Hey everybody, it's Tamika. I am here to share with you guys the hop, the edible gift idea hop hosted by Carolina, who is Carolina's Creations Handmade. If you are here, please check the link in the description box. You are at Scrap the World. Check out Amber, who is Lyric Lover 810, and Josie, who is Life and 50 and Beyond. Make sure you check those ladies out. Subscribe to all four of our channels. Um, there is a prize given away on every channel, and a couple of channels have two prizes, including mine, because I'm giving away a second prize as well. So that information will be available at the end of this video. So be sure to stay tuned to the end for that. And I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful edible um, chocolate coffee spoons which they are so delicious and the flavor toppings that you can top are endless and it's so easy and inexpensive like those are my favorite words to use quick easy inexpensive gift ideas like I can say that all day I just love when all those come together in one phrase so um, without further ado I am going to go ahead and show you the tutorial on how I make these step by step we'll come back at the end and put them in packages and put them together all right let's hop to it these are the items you're going to need you're going to need spoons you can use spoons from the Dollar Tree these happen to be from Target I believe um, but any spoons will work you can even be fancy and buy some really pretty spoons if you're giving that as a gift as well but these spoons work perfectly I actually prefer using white plastic spoons I've also used these spoons which you guys saw me haul in a Tuesday morning um, video so these are wooden spoons you only get uh, six of these for $1.50 but they are really cute and unique but if you're making a big quantity I suggest using the um, heavy-duty plastic uh, white spoons you're going to need chocolate I used dark chocolate milk chocolate and white chocolate in mine you only need one and I used one bag so for the the spoons that I've already done I made a set of 10 and I used one complete bag of um, dark chocolate and I had a little bit left over to make like a little cup um, so you only need one bag of, of chocolate of your preference the white chocolate was to add um, color to like for decoration so um, just keep that in mind you need chocolate chips milk chocolate dark chocolate white chocolate whichever you prefer if you're doing chocolate covered coffee spoons you're gonna need instant coffee I like to use tasters choice I always have this in my pantry to use on the go but you're gonna need the ones with the bigger texture you don't want them ground to smithereens so no powder you're gonna need the texture ones if you're not going to make the spoons and you're gonna make the cups instead then you're gonna need paper cups these come from the Dollar Tree in a set of 24 um, they work perfectly inside the little Walmart mugs um, so you're gonna need this this has a wax coating on the inside so once your chocolate solidifies you can pop that right on out these next items are for decorative purposes only what I've showed you already is all that you'll need to make the uh, chocolate cover spoons but if you want to decorate it and add a little flair you'll need the following or you'll want to think about the following options mini marshmallows I get these from the Dollar Tree here is the little cup I was talking about it's 88 cent at Walmart it's perfect um, to give as a gift and to hold the contents of what you make in here they sit perfectly inside each other candy canes or peppermints you're going to crush them up and use them as a dusting over the spoons or inside the mugs or what have you but this is a great choice jet puff marshmallow bits I get these from Target they're like two dollars um, and they fit perfectly on top of the spoons and they look really really cute decorating sugar really cute that comes in they come in pearls different colors I got these gold ones because I thought that would look super fancy for Christmas also a toffee bits I use these Heath ones because toffee can melt inside the warm milk so when the recipient gets their gift of the chocolate or even the little cups they can uh, and you top it with these little toffee bits when they melt they melt right on on with it and it gives it a nice toffee and milk chocolate coffee flavor it's really really good 
All right, I'm going to start out by melting my chocolate. I am going to use the microwave for this. You can use the double boiler if you have one. I'm using about a half a cup, and I'm going to place it in the microwave at 30 second intervals, which took me about two minutes. And in between, I stirred the chocolate, and I'm using a little bit of baking oil to help um, make the chocolate smoother and mix a little bit better. Once my chocolate has fully melted, it's time to incorporate the coffee. Again, I'm using instant coffee and I'm just using a 2-1 ratio. So I used a half a cup of chocolate. I'm going to use a quarter cup of the instant coffee and I'm going to mix until that's well incorporated. Now you want to go ahead and grab your spoons. You want to add a nice heaping amount of the chocolate coffee mixture to your spoon. And I'm making sure that I scrape the sides and the bottoms of the spoon so it can lay as flat as possible during the chilling process. Go ahead and place these spoons in the freezer or the refrigerator for as long as it needs for the chocolate to solidify. Maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. This is the same process you use for filling up your little cups. You want to make sure that you leave a little room at the top for the chocolate and the toppings. While you're waiting for your chocolate to set up, go ahead and start preparing your toppings. I put a peppermint in a sandwich bag and I just beat it to a pulp so that it could become a nice powder. I forgot to mention I'm using Andy's mints. I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of those and they have been in the freezer overnight and I'm just going to chop those up into some fine bits so that they can lay right on top of my chocolate cups. Once you realize your chocolate spoons have set up, go ahead and prepare another bowl of just plain milk chocolate. I'm using a half a cup here and put it in the microwave again for 30 second intervals until it melts. And again, I'm adding a little bit of the oil to help smooth out the process. Once your chocolate is ready, you want to go ahead and grab your chocolate coffee spoons that have been set up. Uh, and dip them into your milk chocolate that you just melted. You want to make sure you get a smooth coating. Sometimes I tip the spoon towards me so that it can fall just to the tip of the handle and then I swirl it around the bowl to finish off and make a nice smooth even coating as much as I can with the granules right underneath the surface. So go ahead take your time and do that and um, we're gonna go ahead and add the toppings while the chocolate is still warm on top of the spoon. You want to do the same thing to the paper cups if you've done those. I failed to mention that when you do the first round of the chocolate, you want to obviously go ahead and stick your spoon in before it sets in. Um, so stick your spoon in while it's setting, but go ahead and add your milk chocolate to your cups and give them a light tap at the end so that it'll be nice and flat at the top. To these spoons, I'm adding the Jet Puffed Marshmallows to the front. I'm making sure that I push it in just a little bit, not too much. That's why I didn't hurry and add the embellishment, embellishments. I didn't hurry and add the toppings right away because it'll melt, sink down in the chocolate. I let it sit for a minute and then I went ahead and added my toppings. It's still warm, but it just won't sink in. And then I'm adding the crushed toffee bits. And now I'm going to go and melt some white chocolate so we can do the little swirlies on the other spoon. Of course, you want to repeat the process for the cups. This is where I added the crushed Andes mints and the crushed peppermints. I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this white chocolate and melt that so that I can add it to my sandwich bag. And I'm going to cut a little bit in the corner of the sandwich bag and drizzle it over the last spoon. All right, so here is the box that I created. Um, I just thought um, I'd make it off camera. It's just a simple uh, chipboard box. And then I use flanges, of course, you can see that. That will not be seen in the display. This is how I'm thinking I'm going to display it. I have some twine that I've um, connected the top to the bottom so it can kind of stand open like that. That's my idea. And then the spoons 
and the cups will be displayed like on top um what i plan to do is i purchased these little um floral foams you know where you put your plants in and i want to put it on the inside here so this box is eight by seven so but this is also too high for it like it's almost the exact height of the box which is three inches so eight by seven by three so my plan hopefully it works is to slice these down oh this noise is annoying all right i've cut them down and i decided to wrap these little monsters in some uh saran wrap and then we're gonna go ahead and add some shred that looks so cute <laughs> look at the display so far oh my gosh i love it all right here is what we just made don't they look so cute i just love these these make great gifts and they just look so pretty you barely have to do anything to them which is why we're just going to wrap them up in some clear bags all right so i'm going to use these uh pretzel bags i've had these for a long time i use these in the craft fairs i just reclose the top so we have i use these for the spoons so there's three spoons we just need two of these because i cut them in half so i'm just going to take a piece of clear tape and seal the bottom up all i did for the spoons they've been freezing for a while i think i had them in there for like i don't know 15 minutes while i did some other stuff i am just going to put this literally in the bag let's get it open slide it in there all right let's do this one this is my favorite oh my gosh those toffee bits oh they melt so good in that milk and then i'm just going to tie it with some string to keep it all together and I'll tie a knot in the back. And I'm going to do that to the other two. Okay, those are done. I'm just going to add some seam binding to tie a quick little cute little bow. And then finish it off with a little tiny snowflake. In my head, these are going to look so cute when they're displayed. little bowl there I'm gonna use these stickers here and then we're just going to put it on there all right so we have those spoons done look how cute they look I just love them and then we're gonna do these here now these are gonna go in clear bag well one is gonna go in a clear bag and one is gonna uh, go inside of a mug in a clear bag so I'm gonna take this one I want to dump off the tap off any extra that didn't didn't quite make it and then I'm just gonna kind of wiggle this there we go and do the same for this one just pop that out see how that looks half chocolate see that coffee chocolate and then top with chocolate at the top oh ho, ho, ho. yes all right so I'm gonna put this one in here dump it down I'm gonna cut off this top half these bags I get from Amazon I always have them linked down below in the description box again I'm gonna tie this with a little bit of string and as you can tell there's some little flaps I just took a piece of clear tape folded those kind of so that can be a cute little dew drop right there and then I'm going to tie it with some ribbon I'm just gonna add that to the top this one that's going to go inside this cup. Make sure you wash the cup just like that. See how perfect that fits? Like, perfect. And then you feel free to add marshmallows or whatever you want to the top. And I'm going to add a piece of cardstock. I'm going to cut another piece of paper down. And that's going to be just a cute little topper. All right, I'm going to clean this off. And we're going to pack this up in the box. And we'll be good to go. Right. I want to share with you guys the rest of the spoons that I made so yeah these are all done just like how we did it a few of them I had added bowls to here's some more of the little chocolate ones look at this spoon this spoon had the little gold on it 
toffee, mint. They're all all ready to be eaten. So now let's put these in the box. All right, I'm all done. Look how cute they look. And I end up putting the bowl in at the top. I'll show you guys a better picture. Um, I just wanted to bring back to your attention these cute little mugs. They are so adorable. So anyway, just another idea of ways that you can package up some goodies. This is fantastic. You can display this at work. You can give it all to one person. You can display for friends and family. And they can take one of one each. So totally up to you. So anyway thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like this video because i am giving away a prize as well my prize is a monetary prize if you are a u.s resident that that's what you'll get if you're a winner and you're international you'll get money into your paypal account from me it's my personal gift in addition to the $40 that Carolina's Creation is donating to the winner on this channel. So be sure to check out her channel, Carolina's Creations Handmade. Don't forget to check out Amber's channel, who is Lyric Lover 810 and Josie's channel, who's Life at 50 and Beyond. I can't wait to see what the other ladies created. So um, be sure to leave a comment, subscribe to all the videos, and let me know what you think. If you are on Instagram, look in the description box below, check my handle, and tag me on something that you make um, that I created. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.